Hey, I'm JR, training manager here at Crutchfield, and today we're talking about the Alpine Halo Series truck boxes. Comes in two flavors, either the S or the R2 DB8V TRK. These are two eight inch sub enclosures mounted together with a bracket made specifically to go under the seat in many modern crew cab pickup trucks, as well as some Jeep Wranglers and Jeep Gladiators. We even had a Crutchfield employee install one of these under the seat in his Jeep Gladiator. We have confirmed these boxes will fit in many newer trucks, including 2018 and newer Chevy Silverados and GMC Sierras, 2015 and up Ford F-150s, 2018 and newer Ram 1500s, as well as in 2020 and newer Jeep Gladiators under the seat, and in the rear cargo area of 2020 and newer Jeep Wrangler four-door models, that's the JK or the JL. So let's get into how this sub works. It's actually two separate enclosures, each one housing an eight inch woofer down firing. We actually have it sitting upside down here on the table so that you can see the underside of the subs, see the woofers themselves. These are R2 series woofers. They are made of Kevlar and pulp with a rubber surround. They're good and durable, perfect for down firing base into the floor of your truck. You're gonna connect these two sub enclosures with brackets. This bracket goes on the rear and as you can see these slotted mounts allow you to mount these two subs at different widths apart, depending on the vehicle you're putting them in. Some vehicles you'll need them very close together, some you'll need them far apart. The bracket on the front of the woofers also attaches to a nice Alpine badge or a plate that goes on the front to make it look sweet and uh, advertise your new Alpine subs. Once you've determined how far apart these subs can be based on your vehicle, you might be able to take advantage of the Alpine amp rack that will mount between the two subs. It is large enough to hold most mono subwoofer amplifiers. Uh, whichever amplifier you decide on, you'll simply drill the screw holes to mount the amp to the amp rack. In some vehicles, you will not be able to do this because the subs need to be too close together. You'll also notice here on the bottom of each sub enclosure are three one inch tall stacking feet. There are spacer rings so that you can put these feet at different heights. This will allow you to make sure the box sits nice and flat even when your floor is uneven. Also that one inch tall space is perfect for allowing the base to radiate off of these down firing woofers. These Alpine enclosures are available with either Alpine type S woofers or R2. Either way, you're getting a woofer made of Kevlar and pulp for a nice warm sound that can handle plenty of power, mounted to the woofer with a rubber surround, so they're good and durable. The R2s will handle up to 750 watts and will play all the way down to 32 hertz. The S series subs can handle up to 600 watts and play all the way down to 34 hertz. Either way, the sensitivity rating is about 84 dB, so give them all the power they can handle. The subs in each enclosure are dual two ohm voice coil subs. The idea here is that this sub is wired up to be a four ohm sub, so is the other one. You're going to wire them together to your amplifier in parallel, showing your amplifier two ohms of impedance. So you're gonna to wanna to look for an amplifier that puts out 600 or 750 watts into two ohms. And as you'll notice, these speaker wire connections are on the bottom. They're high quality spring clips. And because they're on the bottom, you can keep your wires out of sight. So if you're looking to add base to your truck or your Jeep, uh, these Alpine Halo subs might be perfect for you. Get in touch with us. Go to crutchfield.com slash contact to talk live with our advisors either over the phone, you can chat with them online, they can help you make sure to get the right sub for your truck. If you have any questions, you can also post them right here in the comment section on this YouTube video. We do look at those and we will respond accordingly. And you're on YouTube, so you know what to do. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you'll know when we put out our next cool video. Thanks for watching.